Let's talk about trigonometry functions and graphs, lesson number five, special triangles, exact values, and the unit circle. In this lesson, we'll determine the exact value of the six trig ratios for angles that are in degrees that are multiples of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. And of course, angles that are expressing radians that are multiples of pi over 6, 0, pi over 4, pi over 3, or pi over 2. Now, you know, you'll notice there's some equivalency here. Now, some of this math may have been covered in earlier courses, but let's take a look at this investigation. So if I were to just show you this triangle here, we have a 45 degree angle, and it's an isosceles triangle. In other words, this side, although we don't know what length it is, is the same, has the same length as this side. So let's see if we can find out what the length of these sides are. Using Pythagorean theorem, since we have a 90 degree angle, and, and this radius is equal to 1, we have x squared plus x squared is equal to 1 squared. The a squared plus b squared equals c squared type from Pythagorean theorem. Well, this is 2x squared, and that equals 1. Well, if that's true, then x squared then will equal 1 over 2. And if we take the square root of both sides, x is going to be the square root. We'll just look at the principal square root here, 1 over 2. And we say that this is going to be the square root of 1 over the square root of 2. And this is 1 over the square root of 2. Now you may say, let's rationalize the denominator. And so we can do that. We can multiply by root 2 over root 2, cleverly multiplying by 1, and we get root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2. So the length of x is root 2 over 2. Well, in that case, then we can define what the value of sine 45 degrees is. Sine of this angle 45 degrees is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And we found out that x is equal to root 2 over 2. So we have root 2 over 2 divided over 1, but that's just root 2 over 2. The cos of 45 degrees is the adjacent side over 1, which we found was root 2 over 2. And the tan of 45 would be this root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2, which is 1. Now sine of pi over 4, we know that pi over 4 in radian measure is equivalent to 45 degrees. So this is also going to be root 2 over 2. And this is also root 2 over 2, same as cos 45 degrees. And tan of pi over 4 is the same as tan of 45 degrees, which is 1. So taking a look at this next diagram here, we have another diagram where we have this equilateral triangle where each side is equal to 1. So this is 1, and this side is equal to 1, and this side is equal to 1. And we want to know what the height of this altitude is. So, okay, well, let's just call it h. And this is the height of the altitude. And if this is 1 all the way across here, take a look at this diagram too. We have an equilateral triangle where each of these sides is exactly the same. So this is 1. This also has a length of 1 all the way to here. And if it's this side is equal to this side, this is also 60 degrees. So we can see that these are two congruent triangles. Therefore, this is right in the middle. So that means that this length here, from here to here, is 1 half, 1 half of 1. So we can find out what this altitude is. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem just using this half right triangle here. We have h squared plus half all squared is going to be equal to 1 squared. So h squared then is equal to, oops, sorry, it's added to 1 quarter because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, and that's equal to 1. Solving for h then we can say h squared is equal to 1 minus a quarter. So h squared is equal to 3 quarters. And when we take the square root, we have h squared, sorry, h then will equal the square root of 3 over 4, which means then that h is equal to the square root of 3 
over the square root of 4, which can be simplified to the square root of 3 over 2. We're using the principal square root here. But that means that the, the altitude is root 3 over 2. Well, in that case, now we can define the values of the trig ratios here for 60 degrees. The sine of 60 degrees is h over 1, or in other words, root 3 over 2 over 1. The cos of 60 is going to be the adjacent side length over the radius. So here this is 1 half over 1, so it's 1 half. And the tan of 60 is going to be this value h over 1 half. So we have root 3 over 2 over 1 half, but we know how to divide fractions. This is root 3 over 2 times 2 over 1, multiplying by the reciprocal here. And those twos cancel, we get root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. All right, well, that means then for the radian measure of the equivalent angle here, pi over 3 radians is the same thing as 60 degrees. Therefore, we can find the exact values for the sine of pi over 3, root 3 over 2. The cos of pi over 3 is 1 half, and the tan of pi over 3 is equal to root 3. So let's look at this diagram 3 and say, well, what if we have this triangle? We kind of just turned it a little bit, so you can still see that it's an equilateral triangle here, and it's congruent. These are made of two congruent triangles here. Now a horizontal altitude is drawn, but we know that this h is going to be that root 3 over 2. And of course this part is going to be 1 half from here all the way to here. Well if that's the case, we can go ahead and define the values for sine of this angle. Sine of 30 is going to be 1 half over 1. The cos of 30 is going to be the adjacent side divided by 1, so that's root 3 over 2. And the tan of 30 is going to be the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So this is going to be 1 half divided by root 3 over 2, which can be equivalent to 1 half times 2 over root 3. And those cancel we get 1 over root 3. But then you might say, well, we need to rationalize that denominator. So we will multiply by root 3, by multiply by root 3 over root 3, and therefore we will get, this is equal to root 3 over, remember root 3 times root 3 is 3, and so the tangent of 30 degrees is root 3 over 3. Well, we have the equivalent angle in radian measure now, so sine of pi over 6 would be equal to the sine of 30 degrees, so that's 1 half. Cos of pi over 6 is equal to root 3 over 2, and the tan of pi over 6 in radian measure is going to be root 3 over 3. So let's take a look at special triangles here. We have the following triangles that were developed in the investigation. So we have a triangle with a 30 degree angle here and a 60 degree angle here and we notice that this is the altitude length and here's the adjacent side length and then we have the hypotenuse length of one again here we have another triangle and another triangle and so we can build this chart where we have 30 degrees 45 degrees and 60 degrees and in fact we can define the values of all three uh, primary trig ratios for these degrees. And of course, then we would find out the reciprocal trig ratios as well. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. The sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. For cosine of 30 degrees, or cosine of pi over 6, it's going to start at root 3 over 2. Cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, and the cos of 60 is 1 half. Now the tangent of theta is equal to 1 over root 3, or in other words, root 3 over 3. For 45 degrees, it's 1, and for the tan of 60 degrees, if we see the diagram above, then it's going to be equal to root 3. 
Well, if each triangle, um, the horizontal distance is called x, and the vertical distance is called y, and the hypotenuse is equal to 1, then we can express the trig ratios in terms of x and or y. So sine ratio, and remember we're, it's in reference to this particular angle, we can say sine of a then is equal to y over 1. Or in other words, sine of a is equal to y. For cos of a, that's equal to x over this r, which equals 1, right? And x over 1 is just x. And the tangent ratio then, tan of a, is equal to y over x. But you'll also notice that y is sine a. So it's really equal to sine a over cos a. So let's create the unit circle then. We have this one quadrant, and we have a terminal arm that's constant. That's this blue line here, and that swings all the way around. We have the first quadrant here where let's see if we can create or fill in these values for 30 degrees. Now we just showed you just in the previous example that sine of a is equal to y when the radius is 1. Cos of a is equal to x, and then tan of a is equal to y over x. Or in other words, if we use this, this is sine a over cos a. So keeping that in mind then, this particular point, it has an x and y value where the, it's the x or cos 30, which is root 3 over 2, and the y value of 1 half. What about this one? Well, that means that this is the cos of 45 degrees is equal to the x value. So that's root 2 over 2. And the sine is also root 2 over 2. What about for this 60 degrees? Now, this is the 1 half, which is the x value for cos 60. And the y value is actually equal to the sine of that angle, 60. So sine of 60 is equal to root 3 over 2. And for 90 degrees, then cos 90 will equal the x value, which is 0. And sine 90 degrees is going to be equal to 1. We'll take a look at these values here. We have this is... The smallest one is going to be 1 half in length. The next one is going to be root 2 over 2 in length. And the final one is going to be root 3 over 2 in length. Then it also continues down. So, let's... so I filled in some numbers here. So the length of this one is going to have a pattern 1 over 2, root 2 over 2, and root 3 over 2 in increasing order. And also with the x values, Starting with this angle here, the 60 degrees, you have an x value of 1 half. And then for 45, you have an x value of root 2 over 2. And for 30 degrees, you have an x value of root 3 over 2. So let's answer some of these questions here. How do the coordinates of the points relate to the measure of the rotation angles? Well, it seems that as we go from 30 degrees to 45 degrees to 60 degrees, the x's decrease in value, whereas in the y's will increase in value. So it seems like when we, we go from 30 degrees to 45 degrees to 60 degrees, the x values seem to decrease in a, in a 3, 2, 1 type fashion, whereas in the 30 degrees to 45 degrees to 60 degrees for the y values, they seem to increase in this, you know, one, two, three type type pattern. So root three, root two, root one, over two, over two, over two. All right, let's complete this chart then. So we have zero degrees. If at the angle zero, this is going to be zero. This is going to be uh, one, and the tangent is going to be zero. What about for thirty degrees? Thirty degrees is one half, and we can take a look at this pattern root 1 over 2 root 2 over 2 root 3 over 2 and then 1 here we 
it seems like it's in opposite order. It's root 3 over 2, then root 2 over 2, and then 1 over 2, and then 0. And for tangent, it's going to be 1 half divided by root 3 over 2. So this is root 3 over 3. This is going to be 1, and this is root 3 over 2. So this is going to be root 3. Oh, shoot, I'm going to have to fix that other one. So let's just complete the chart here. So for tan of 90 degrees, it's undefined because the the cosine is going to be 0. 1 over 0 is an undefined number. So the sine ratio is increased from 1 half to 1, and the cosine ratio is decreased from 1 to 1 half. The tangent ratios are equal to the sine ratios divided by the cosine ratios.